flooding is a temporary overflow of water onto land that is normally dry. Floods are the most common disasters and failing to evacuate flooded areas or entering flood waters can lead to injury or death. With the devastating impact of flood in Nigeria, it is crucial to take proactive measures by individuals and communities to minimize risk and protect lives. Our correspondent Afola Shayo Amzed has more in this story. Floods are the most frequent type of natural disaster that occurs when an overflow of water submerges land that is usually dry. Floods are often caused by heavy rainfall, rapid snow melt or a storm surge from a tropical cyclone or tsunami in coastal areas. It often causes damage to properties, infrastructure and disruption of human activities. Analysts when discussing the causes of flood ask this to say. Because of flood is uh, the drainage, the drainage is very very full. There's no, there's no every day, every day, every day, every day, every day we are now, every day we are now. If if it's more rain fall and there's no drainage to fall, it will cause flooding everywhere. Every then everywhere will cover with river. So I believe if governments can help us to clean the drainage everywhere, there will not, there, there will not be flood. Yeah, the causes of floods, to my own experience, the causes of flood when you are dropping rubbish on the water and the, there is a blockage, then there is a tendency of the water to go outside and cause a flood. Nigeria records flooding every year, mostly as a result of failure to follow environmental guidelines and inadequate infrastructure. The worst floods the country has seen in a decade were in 2022 when more than 600 people were killed and more than 1 million people were displaced. However, possible ways to avoid flooding was further stated. The possible way to avoid flood is this. I want to say my fellow people, fellow Nigerian, that they should not drop anything dirty inside the drainage. Without, without dirt inside the drainage, there will not be flood. There will not be flood. But if anything blood the drainage, there will be flood. The only possible way is you know, to see the environmental people. They are the ones to control it. Number one, to tell those who are dropping rubbish and the flood to stop it. It is then we can stop it. And not only this, those who are having their building very close to the flood, we need to tell them to evacuate so to, to save their life. Addressing flood disaster requires holistic approach from policy and governance perspectives, integration of policies and programs and synergies between institutions. Using synergies and eliminating trade-offs, flooding governance and policy coherence integrate all relevant policy fields and institutions to achieve common policy outcomes. I will advise governments, Niger government, to, to empower those who that carry the car dustbin, people that carry dustbin up and down. So, so they, uh, you empower them. People that buy vehicle, maybe two or three vehicle in one, one, one town. Huh. So, those people, they will come, go, they go to street by street, then carry all the dustbin. So, then, there's no, there is a car that's been, people will pay, people will pay, people will pay. To me, I'm not, I'm not the politician. It's only politician can know what they can do. It's only we can discuss. But the politician is to tell the people, you know, to give money so that they have a big machine. Who can clean the, 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 the who can give out drainage. But if they can do that, that is the only way we can try to avoid it. Flood are common disasters with multiple causes. Understanding these factors enables communities to take proactive measures to prevent and mitigate flood events. Hafalashayo Amzat reporting for Kaftan TV News.